Hey guys, welcome back to DJ's Workshop. So today I just want to share with you another project that I've been working on. Uh, we have the camper and we don't want to load all our camping gear into the camper. So we wanted to get a little trailer that we could tow behind. Something that was light, aluminum, uh, wouldn't uh, you know require too much weight. And uh, something that we could just pack everything up into, you know, the stoves, the tents, uh, you know, whatever we wanted to take along, just so we don't clutter up the uh, inside of the van. So let me uh, show you what I got and what I've done to it so far. Hang on. Okay, so this is what we picked up. It's a uh, four by six trailer. Uh, like I said, it's all aluminum construction, so it's pretty lightweight. Um, but just to show you a couple of things I did. So when we first got it, uh, it had the original wheels on it, so I took those off. Uh, the tires were still, you know, had a lot of tread on them, but they were a lot of dry rot. So I ended up getting these rims and tires. They're 480 by 12s, uh, new rims and new tires, uh, Carlisle uh, Sport Trail tires. So we got that, that way I don't have to worry about going down the road and getting a blowout. Um, I did add these vents. So there's one on the front on this side and one on the back on this side. And as you're traveling, it will let the air suck into the front one and then it'll exhaust out this side. This way it'll keep the air circulating inside and it'll keep things dry and uh, you won't get any mold and stuff in there. Uh, next thing I did was I got a big sheet of diamond plate and I put it over the top of this, wrapped it over the edges, screwed it all down. I didn't want to have any issues with water leaks, so this here is going to be 100% waterproof because all the rain is just going to wash right over the sides. There's no seams or anything for it to get into. Basically just screwed it all the way around. There is a metal um, angle line on the framework, so I just screwed right into that so it's nice and solid. Next thing I did, uh, I put on these racks and they bolt in and I'll show you how they go on the inside. Uh, you put a 2x4 across there and now it gives you the ability to put whatever you want on top of here. You can put a tent, a canoe, uh, you know, whatever you want to carry on top that may be a little bit longer than uh, what will fit on the inside. Now on the inside, what I did was I made some framework, some wooden frames, and I have a little pegboard over on this side that we can hang stuff if we need to, cords or hoses or whatever. Um, I have a couple of shelves on the inside. We have storage for our stoves and chairs and tables and different things. We have storage on this side for um, big outdoor camper tables, some solar panels, chairs, tents, different things like that. So we got plenty of room on the inside now. And there's still plenty of room left in here. Uh, we have our lantern over here. and So all this stuff, you know, the spare tire and whatnot, all this stuff um, would have ended up in the van and it makes it very difficult when you're traveling you know if you want to pull over have something to eat or if you need to use the bathroom or whatever it's everything's in the way so this way here it's everything's packed out of the way and it's nice and neat and convenient and you know everything is secure let's close it up lock it up put your padlock on there and good to go so i just wanted to share that with you um you know, if you guys have a camper van and, you know, your thing is cluttered. I see plenty of people at the campgrounds and their vans are just chock full of stuff. You can't even move inside and I don't know how they can deal with that. So you find yourself a little trailer like this, a little 4x6, and, you know, just do a couple things to it. Spiff it up a little bit and uh, it'll be great to, to get all the stuff out of the van. And um, this way when you're not camping or whatever you don't have to take everything out of the van and pack it back in the garage or whatnot it's all right here all nice and neat you want to go you just hook it up you go everything's right there for you you come home you unhook it you park it lock it up it's all set so that's what uh, that's what we're doing with this thing and i uh, just you know give you guys some ideas if uh, if you like camping but you don't want to take everything with you this would probably be a good option for you so uh, if you like the video give a thumbs up a share a like and uh, i'll catch you guys on the next one